Hey, Dave here. In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the Vibes history, how I came up with it, and some of the design prototypes I've made over the years. Now, when flash drives first came out, I just got the cheap plastic ones. They worked fine, although one pet peeve I had with them was the cap. I kept losing it. You take the cap off, you put it down, it falls behind the computer, you lose it. Sometime later, I got what was my favorite USB for a long time. It caught my eye initially because it's shiny and I like shiny things. The case is made of titanium so it's a little more rugged than the plastic ones and there's no cap to lose. The USB just slides in and out. Now a little over two and a half years ago I came up with the idea for the Bayou. I love making things and I was thinking maybe I can make my own USB. But not just any USB, it had to be a really rugged and tough USB. From there, I was thinking, okay, how can I make the toughest USB in the world? Now, at the time, I wasn't sure how to do it, but I came up with a few initial designs and went into the shop and built the first value. This one was made of brass, mainly because I had brass at the time, and it's really nice to machine. One downside of using brass, though, is it's very heavy. But other than that, the design works really well. Uh, it's very convenient to use and good looking. So this prototype was eventually destructively tested with uh, load testing. It failed under about three tons of force, which is rather amazing when you think about it because brass isn't a very strong material. Compared to uh, the titanium that the current value is, brass is about four times weaker. So if this fails at three tons, in theory, the titanium one should fail at 12 tons. Since the first Viad went pretty good, I made another one. The next prototype was made out of aluminum. Aluminum's lighter, but stronger than brass, so it's a good choice of materials. Also in this design, I put a little place for the cap to fit on at the end, which works reasonably well. This prototype, again, worked really well. It was nice, convenient, and good looking. So the next one I made was basically identical to this, but I made it, had it made it at a CNC machine shop. So the quality of construction is a little better than the one I made. But again, worked really well. And I tested this one a lot. Uh, it's turned black from all the heat testing I've done of it. The last design revision I made is basically the current version. And it has a few different changes. One is I switched to a high strength aluminum and titanium alloys. Next is I put a little hole in the cap to attach a lanyard or a keychain. And probably more importantly, I changed how the cap is retained. I switched to a magnet, which is really neat. And uh, I like magnets, so uh, it's fun to play with. But other than those few changes in design, basically the current vibe is very similar to the first one I made. So I hope you uh, enjoyed listening to the history of the vibe. Thanks for watching.